What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm doing take two and painting glass bottles with baking soda paint. If you haven't seen this technique before, there are loads of videos. Heck, I'm not even new to this, I've tried it before. With mixed results, but stay tuned because this time I got great texture and the perfect shaped bottles. I'm Jen, and this is Valley Buzzsaw. You can subscribe below if you like DIYs like this. I post on Fridays and some Sundays and would love to have you join our growing community. Don't forget to do all the stuff to get notifications of all my videos. Like I said, I tried this effect a while back and I'll link to that video below if you haven't seen it yet. That one was different though. I didn't plan to coat the whole jar and as someone mentioned in the comments, the shape wasn't ideal. I'm working with upcycled materials again, but this time I listened to the advice and chose bottles that had more of a vase appeal. First thing I had to do was prep. This bottle still had a label, so I soaked it in warm soapy water to loosen it up. The second bottle had a sticky residue in one spot, so I pulled out my trusty Goo Gone. Goo Gone on a paper towel was enough to cut through the residue. I scrubbed a bit and removed the glue. Then I cut the solvent with some dish soap. And left that bottle to soak too. The first label came off like a dream after I soaked it for a while. I just used my thumbnail to scrape it back. And I rotated to soak the other side. I repeated the scrape technique on the other label and tried to remove as much of the paper as I could. I cut back the neck label and removed that too. Then I pulled out the goo gone again and got the last of the residue. One last soap and water wash, one last rinse, and I left everything to dry. I used my jewelry wire snips to cut and remove the metal ring. Then it was time for the fun stuff. Both bottles were ready for paint. Okay, these two bottles are all ready to go. This one I'm thinking I want to try something special with the raised area. This one has a lot of markings at the bottom, so I'm gonna try to cover that. Same with the top. Not gonna worry about that, even though it's a ridge screw top. It's no problem, I'm just gonna coat, coat, coat. I headed for my paint stash to see what I could come up with. I settled on two different bare latex paints, one in a creamy lemon yellow and the other in a muted gray robin's egg. Together, they created a dusty teal shade, perfect for our beach style home. I didn't show the mixing because I just wung it until it felt like I had enough of the color that I was going for. Then it was time to add the baking soda. I scooped in enough to look close to a one-to-one -one ratio and stirred. It thickened, but it was still a bit runny, so I added some more. At that point, it looked good, so I grabbed my chip brush and started slopping the mix all over the bottom of the bottle. I want a very rough texture with tons of brush marks and chunkers, so it has more of like a handcrafted clay vibe. For 
For the second bottle, I plan to do something to the raised area, so I tried to keep minimal paint over that part, but I coated everything else the same as the first. I also added a bit on the inside top edge of this bottle. The wide mouth lets you see inside, and I wanted consistency in the finish. I wiped down the many little chunkers that flung all over my worktop. Then wrapped up the paint mixture just in case I needed to do touch-ups or something later. And I'm happy I did, but we'll get to that. Because my next step was to paint the raised area. I had visions of antiquing something metallic, so I grabbed my folk art solid bronze and got painting. I started by buffing it on with my finger, but I wasn't loving the coverage, so I switched to a brush. That did the trick. Then I started distressing. I used a very thinned out black craft acrylic and a light touch to brush it on. I didn't care about hitting the bottle because I could touch that up with the leftover paint mix, but the truth was, I just didn't like it. <laughs> you know how something can look better in your head than in life? Case in point. I knew no matter how I manipulated this finish, I wasn't going to dig the result, so I pulled out the paint and... Bye-bye. I stippled and brushed on an even thicker second coat, and it was like it never even happened. Once everything dried, I was ready to use these upcycled, baking soda painted glass bottles. You know what? I don't even care if it's been done to death. This is one of my very favorite paint hacks because it just looks so cool. I'm glad I went extra thick and chunky with the baking soda paint this time. It gives the dried clay feeling that I really wanted. What do you think of this DIY? Leave me a comment and let me know if this is something you'd like to try sometime. If you enjoyed the project in the video, give it a thumbs up and then subscribe below. I post on Fridays and some Sundays and would love to have you join our growing community. Oh, and BT Dubs, thank you so much and welcome to all of our brand new subscribers. 
Thanks for joining our fun time party. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Later, peeps.